see people around you are getting worse and worse. They don't have a disease process as such, but what they do have is a lessening of their abilities to do things, lessening performance. You know, that the mountain climbing goes away and the bicycling goes away, then the golf clubs go away and the racks go away and finally they don't do very much. They're not sick, but they're just not doing very much. So you know there's something going on with everybody in a case like that. Not just one or two people, but everybody does that. It's a mm -hmm. universal commonality when that happens. As a neurologist, I worry about is Alzheimer's and ALS and, and strokes and things like that, as well as heart attacks and vascular disease. And so these are all diseases of aging. You don't see those before about 40. When you do, it's really pretty rare. So these are diseases of aging. And so what's aging? Aging is this pathological process. It's a series of things which, which come along, which gradually break down the defenses, the, about after 40, about the, uh, the damage is the head of the repair cycle. Mm -hmm. The repair no longer can take place as fast as the damage takes place, and you go downhill slowly, but inevitably. So as it turned out over the next decade, approximately from 1990 to 19, about two year 2000, it became a specialty of, of optimal balance of hormones. And what you find out is once you put the hormones back in like they were before 40, then patients get very, very healthy again. But it takes a good, healthy eating program, a good regular exercise program, not extreme, but regular, and your hormones. Mm -hmm. With those in place, patients do very, very well. They go back to where they were and they stay there. Wow. And they remain healthy. And uh, genetically, we can live a long time. We can live well. But the important thing is quality of life, how well you live. And health is not the absence of disease. Health is performance. Mm. Just because you're not sick doesn't mean you're not having problems. But performance, you can, we measure performance. Mm -hmm. And when we find people declining in performance is after 40, we can put them back up on top again. Uh, Dr. Keller was going to come speak at his conference. Mm -hmm. And he said, yeah, I've got to get together with him. He knows a lot about glutathione. It's, you know, it's, it's, it's really a great substance. So I, a couple of nights before the conference, I looked on the net. I said, I've got to have some of this stuff. Saw the research, saw the science behind it. So I signed up. Mm -hmm. I came to the conference, and actually you were there, and I met you there. And so uh, from there on, my interest in Max and Max JHL really, really came on. And I've just seen the science. I know what's, I see what's happening with my patients. Actually, but every patient I have on Max GXL, because I know if you can nourish the cell, if you, if you can make the mitochondria more healthy, so they make more energy all the time, the other processes keep up. And what I do, the medications that I use are going to get better and, and actually do better with my patients. I utilize them better if they have, have maximum cellular energy. Mm -hmm. And therefore, when that happens, my patients stay better. Cool. And so it really does great things for them. Uh -huh. I explain to them the science, I explain to them what it does for them, and I say this is what's something you've got to go on because health begins cellularly, energy produced by the cells, mm -hmm. and if they're all producing maximum energy, that means you're going to do better, Right. and they do. Now tell me what that means. Uh, we get it into the cell, the cell begins to manufacture more glutathione, what happens next? Basically that's, that's basic support for the cell structure. If the mitochondria, the millions of mitochondria inside the cell that make the energy in the form of something called ATP. Mm -hmm. When you make more ATP, then the cell does more things. And so glutathione, since it's, it's declining after about, after about 20 actually, once you put it back in, the cell makes more energy and therefore can do what it's supposed to do. I mean, the immune system on up. Mm -hmm. Immune system, uh, strength, endurance, uh, uh, just performance. And performance is say is health is performance. It's not right. just the absence of disease processes. Now when you started on GXL, what did you personally notice? The increased energy, actually when I started, uh, probably about two, three weeks prior to starting on Max Gen Cell, uh, I started that, and then I started uh, an exercise program about an hour, two or three times a week with my with my uh, our trainer. Mm -hmm. I hadn't done that for a long time, and I figured I wouldn't get out of be able to get out of bed the next morning. I never had a stiff day or a sore day any wow. of those. I've uh, given it to patients; they've done very well with it. Endurance goes up, energy level goes up, uh, aches and pains tend to kind of go away since it's, it's the body's major anti-inflammatory agent. It's just basic cellular support for your for every cell in your body. Right. And so that's what makes the difference as far as I'm concerned. If I can make that happen to my patients, they're going to get better. They utilize my medications better. They're going to stay healthier for a long time.